Hello and welcome to another exciting crane video. Look at this shot. Yeah. So you want to have a shot like this or maybe even better or a few more? Um, here's the plan. I designed this thing a little while ago and never finished building it all the way because I didn't add that uh, lever there for the uh, tilt. Instead I used the original tilt bar that came with the tripod head to perform my tilts on the crane. Now I'm going to give you a few tips that you are going to need when building this or using one. So the first thing I'm going to do is come out here and set this all up and show you details while mounting it on this tripod. Oh, and if you didn't watch video number one, you might want to go watch that so you can learn how to make this tripod crane ready. Okay, so let's take it from here. The first thing I'm going to do is mount the, the uh, tripod plate here on the crane itself. And again, I'm not sure if I showed this to you or not on video number one, but what I did is I removed the clip that goes on the screw um, that prevents the screw from falling out of this plate here. And the reason I did that is so that I can use this plate freely, um, you know, uh, however I need it. So let's go um, also, because this um, plate has gears and it only goes on one side, I marked it with a marker so I know which way the front is. So. Let me go mount this on. As you can see, there are markings on here from when I put this on here before. Quite a few times, I may add. And um, here we go. I had to cut the video there for a second. So, check my marks and make sure it's pointing forward. And I also want to let you know that the screws that I got for this um, fit right in perfect. And they came out of an old futon that I threw out. Uh, it, it fits flush and it doesn't go past the second level of the piece of metal that's inside of there. Now, I only put one screw on here because uh, that's just going to hold the plate on here while I slide it on the tripod head. And then the second screw is going to um, grab all three parts, the tripod head, this tripod plate, and the actual plate, aluminum plate from the crane. So that when I do a tilt, it doesn't um, slide off the tripod head. So let me um, get the second, get the first screw um, tightened down on this, and then turn it around and slide it on the tripod, and uh, then we can mount the other screw. Also, I use long screws on this because when they stick out of the other side, I mount the um, monitor on these screws. So let me. Um, put this one in here first to make sure I'm using it as a guide so when I take it out and um, tighten the the rear screw um, I don't have a problem once I slide it on the um, I mean it's gonna come back out uh, it's just you know right now like I said a guide so let's put that in there and let's tighten well I really put that in there didn't I let's tighten the uh, the rear screw here Okay, now let's take this one out and slide this puppy on the tripod. So here we go. Uh-huh, my neighbor asking me what uh, what I'm doing. So I'm just making a little video here for my crane for a couple of friends. He's always watching me do stuff all the time. Nice guy though, nice guy. All right. So let me slide this on here and just slide it on like if you had the camera on it, but instead you have a crane. Slide it on the head. Okay. Now you put the screw through the tripod head, the camera uh, plate, and the crane. It's a beautiful thing. This way, uh, you know, the, oops. Excuse me. All right, here we go. Try this again. This way, the tripod plate and the tr and the crane won't slide off the tripod head. So let's get this one tightened down. And and you know, again, these the screws are uh, extra long. I know, but um, I have a bracket and um, yeah, I mount the monitor right on those screws. And you know, any other accessory I may need. So they come in handy. Now here's what I would do different, which I'm gonna fix anyway, is to drill this to the center of the tripod head 
so that the tilt is smoother and I don't feel like so basically the cranes just gonna sit a little lower on those hinges uh, here's the skinny screwdriver I was talking about that I used to lock the uh, tripod head with the hole that I drilled on the side of it that way when I'm mounting the camera or anything like that you know it just that that's actually my temporary lock right now um, so it doesn't tilt and just in case you didn't see my original video, the tilt bar that comes with the tripod head is the tilt bar that I use to tilt the, um, on the crane. All right, now mounting the camera. I also use a long screw. I first put two nuts on this bolt and, you know, slide them all the way down. I uh, tighten this up nice and snug, and then I tighten up one of the nuts uh, all the way up to the bottom of the plate, and then the second one. Also, throw the battery on there or put it right on the camera because when you're balancing out the crane, um, you're going to need the battery or all the weight, you know, the cables, uh, monitor, everything you're going to have while you're recording. You know, you're, I've, I've used this crane with uh, my lens adapter, my Red Rock, um, different cameras, you know, my 60D. Um, so basically, you just want to have everything on there that you're going to do before you even add the weights. That way you know exactly uh, how much weight you're going to need. For this, I just need a 25 and a 5. So I got 30. This is a regular half-inch coupling. Uh, I use it as a safety so the weight doesn't come out. And this vice grip pliers um, hold everything in place. All right, so let's swing it around and feels pretty level right now. It's really smooth to um, control. Up and down. I, I love this, the, the smoothness of this. Uh, the action. It's, I mean, it's so um, firm and smooth. You know, and the shots are clean. You know, sturdy. You don't see anything, you know, wobbly, jiggly, nothing. Um, so, I love it. Now, alright. So, here's how I do my tilt. I unlock the head. I remove my lock screwdriver. And that's basically it. You know, uh, bring up the crane and use the uh, tilt bar. And and uh, the tilt is also pretty smooth. As long as you have, uh, you know, all the screws on that side metal bar there, nice and tight. Now, here's the monitor. This is from an old video. Here's just a little sample of how I used to ha uh, mount the monitor on the plate there. And this was a pretty cool setup. I love it. Now here's a sample shot and another one. I took these yesterday. Had a good day. It was good weather outside. Um, so yeah, the uh, download link for the plan here, the drawing, is uh, in the description. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, I don't think I said this clearly a few minutes ago. When you drill the center hole on the door hinge, first measure your tripod head so that when you drill on the hinge, the center of the hole you drill lines up with the center of the tripod head. This way, the center of gravity of the tripod head lines up with the center pivot point of the crane, and it doesn't create some kind of force which makes it want, kind of want to tilt on its own a little bit, like mine right now. So, you know, pretty soon I'll, I'll, I'm going to drill my own and correct that so everything's nice and even and take that little bit of force away. So drilling a little lower than mine should do it. Oh, and one more thing before I forget, the, um, the washers in between here. I have four washers in the inside and two in between and then just a regular bolt and this here is just a regular um, you know hinge like a barn door hinge I think it is um, eight inch I think it's about eight inches and that's basically it so the download link to the drawing here should be in the description of this video maybe someone will do a 3d on it one day feel free to post any questions thanks for watching I'm Louis Cosme have a good one